Hello and welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas to you all. And I'm glad you've chosen to tune in. So there is a story that came out, I think, yesterday. And I so wanted to update you on this. It was quite an interesting story. And it had a bit of a comedic element to it. So let's get straight into this, courtesy of harpersbazaar.com. So it says this, after a legal battle lasting almost three years, Britain's Mail on Sunday has finally admitted defeat and printed a front page legal notice accepting Duchess Meghan's court win. The tabloid's December 26th edition features the court-ordered headline confirming the Duchess of Sussex's May victory, which saw the judge, Justice Warby, order publisher Associated Newspapers to pay out damages and £1.5 million, that is $1.8 million, in legal costs after publishing a number of extracts from a private handwritten letter she had sent to her father in 2018. So their Boxing Day edition cover line reads, The Duchess of Sussex wins her legal case for copyright infringement against Associated Newspapers for articles published in the Mail on Sunday and posted on Mail Online. They did this adhering to the font size and appearance dictated by the British High Court in the summer. Inside the paper features a report of the summary judgment which was delivered to the mail six months prior to their failed attempt at appealing the ruling in UK's Court of Appeals. In quotes, it says, Following a hearing on 19th to 20th January 2021 and a further hearing on 5th May 2021, the court has given judgment for the Duchess of Sussex on her claim of copyright infringement. The statement reads, the court found that Associated Newspapers infringed her copyright by publishing extracts of her handwritten letter to her father in the mail on Sunday and mail online. Financial remedies have been agreed, end quote. Payments from the paper to Megan, who still plans to make donations to anti-bullying charities, will be made in due course. So bizarre article goes on to say, while the publisher had hoped for their admission to fly under the radar on one of the quietest newspaper buying days in the British media calendar, the internet was quick to pick up on the public defeat. Within hours, Meghan Markle won as a hashtag trended across Twitter with over 25,000 tweets in the US carrying the hashtag at the time of this article being published. Memes mocking up the tabloid's paper front page featuring images of the Duchess also made rounds as well as tweets linking to the publisher's online post, which was legally required to link to the full court judgments. <laughs> And I'll just interject here and say that I saw all the edits made by so many of you on Twitter. They were so well made that half the time many people were retweeting them, actually thinking that it was the male's um, article. But it was so many of you giving Megan, you know, the treatment that she deserved. Front page, full apology right there. So it was so fantastic. As you can see, I've put up a couple of images of all the clever edits that were made online and people were so good about it. They put her face there smiling and looking so happy and full of jubilation and it was so great to see how all of you made that trend online. Kudos to you. Of course, it was such an interesting thing that the mail did publishing this on a day that they knew had low circulation and they knew that perhaps many people would not catch this um, headline hoping that many people would not catch on to the story but it has trended and it, it just you know hats off to all of you who made sure that with the same you know gusto and bravado that they had when they put her letter on the front page and published so many mistruths about her that so many of you put that same energy into putting you know the apology in your own edit so thank you for doing that so the article goes on to say, Bazaar says, Following a court ruling earlier this year, the Mail on Sunday and Mail Online had breached Meghan's privacy with five articles that reproduced large swaths of the letter she sent to her father, Thomas Markle, 
the publisher fought back in the Court of Appeals, but on December the 2nd, three judges dismissed the paper's argument, adding that the Duchess had reasonable expectation of privacy in the contents of the letter. Those contents were personal, private, and not matters of legitimate public interest, they said. Speaking out after her win, Duchess Meghan called the double court win a victory not just for me but for anyone who has ever felt scared to stand up for what's right, alongside a subtle mention of the tabloid's often used nickname on social media, she added, the courts have held the defendant to account. And my hope is that we all begin to do the same, because as far removed as it may seem from your personal life, it's not. Tomorrow it could be you, she said. These harmful practices don't happen once in a blue moon. They are a daily fail that divide us, and we all deserve better. So there she added that statement here. They reminded us of her Victoria statement. So isn't it so cool to see that this has been not only a double win, but a triple win, because... It trended online and the mail on Sunday has admitted defeat and had to print that. It kind of reminds you when you look at how they tried to hide it away. It reminds you of like petulant children when they're told to apologize to each other and there's so much reluctance. And y'all just came through and magnified this win once again. And it has not only been a triple win in that it trended and so many of you put them on, you know, on notice for what they did. They still have to pay out those damages and that 1.5 million pounds that is quite the cost and i think they will always think twice before they try and do this try and profit off of people's you know personal um suffering or trying to profit off of people's personal lives i think that associated newspapers and you know the mail and on and on the tabloids will think twice about doing this ever again so it's interesting they had to adhere to the font size and appearance dictated by the british high court and i think they tried to do it but of course they tried to get away with it because i don't think there was a specification of where the headline had to take place they tried to stuff it in the bottom corner right there and <laughs> and that did not work and even the font they used, leave alone the size, the font itself was you know, something that isn't very easy to catch, especially when there's so much going on on the page. You know, for many of you who have done anything with publishing or writing letters online or writing any kind of material to be published, you know there are fonts that are easy to read. So thank you for all of you who caught that because the font they used itself was a font that not many people would have picked up on but you put it out there and what a great day it's been so it's been so cool for the Duchess of Sussex and in fact for the whole Sussex family they've trended online with a beautiful Christmas card where we saw Lily Bet for the first time and I did cover that so I will leave links they trended on that day they've trended once again they trended with this win so it's just been win-win for the Duchess and isn't this a lesson to all not to try and put um, pitfalls in the path of other people because for sure that kind of trap will just go straight back on the person who sets them and yeah it's just a fact and there is a verse in the Bible that also speaks about that so wonderful when once again i'm so happy to share this with you share now your thoughts with me in the comment section a special thank you right now to all of the supporters for this channel who through your financial support give so much encouragement thank you so much for your giving towards this channel and i want to give a special highlight and thank you right now to noreen bengali as well as Aminata Ja, thank you so much for choosing to support these videos and for those of you who like to check out links to support this channel. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for those who like, comment and share. I wish you all a wonderful day wherever you are and a happy holiday season and I will catch you back in the next one. Have a blessed one.